ما سفرات افغانستان خوش آمده. My name is Allison Diaz and I'm the public relation officers for the Embassy of the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan in Japan. My name is Caroline Hanaoka. I am from Brazil and I'm majoring in international affairs and political science here at Temple. My name is Cheris and I'm from Singapore and uh, I'm currently majoring in international affairs. In My name is Hui Gyu Song. Uh, I'm currently a senior at Temple University Japan campus. I study international affairs. My name is Surrey Cook. Um, I am American and my majors are international affairs and Asian studies. My name is Lina. I major in international affairs and political science. I'm mixed race Japanese. My mother is Japanese and my father is Malawian. Um, my name is Selma Tvet and I'm from Norway and my major is political science. I am the internship supervisor. So with my participation here at the embassy, I act as their advocate to select candidates, to monitor interns here in the program, to help match them with their interests or special talents into various uh, needs here at the embassy. The reason why I was interested in working at the embassy of Afghanistan was because at first I didn't know anything about Afghanistan. I only saw the news and media of certain terrorist attacks about Afghanistan, but that was all I knew about. And I know there is more to that, more than that. So I thought it was a great opportunity for me to not only learn about the Afghanistan, but also have my foot in the door in international diplomatic field in real life situation. I wanted to have a career in the government sector in the future, so uh, I thought uh, this would be a good place to start since uh, the Embassy of Afghanistan in Tokyo is also a non-resident uh, mission for Singapore. At the Afghanistan Embassy, uh, the, task, the tasks and responsibilities are several and it depends on your own skills. So in my case, I've done so far um, translating uh, articles from Jap uh, Japanese to English. I've written articles about the amb ambassadors and dipl diplomats activities for the embassy's website and I've also participated in several uh, events that the embassy promotes such as the kite festival we have annually and also the stamp rally that we were having at the Minato ward for the uh, citizens that live in the area. Well, I've been interning at the embassy for about nine months now. During the first part of my internship, I worked on press releases for the embassy and also recording uh, the diplomats' activities, daily events that they would go to and things like that. More recently, I've been working on public relations materials for the embassy and making sure that their brochures and their pamphlets are new and up to date. Some of the responsibilities and projects that I worked on while working at the embassy was that I have to first study about the country of Afghanistan so hard and I have to be very knowledgeable about the country that I can give actual tours about, about the embassy to the visitors whoever visits the embassy. One of the challenges that I faced was uh, having to use Japanese uh, in doing this internship, even though it wasn't like a major requirement, but since uh, we had to do the stamp rally and most of the visitors are Japanese, I had to uh, pluck up my courage to use Japanese, even though I was at first kind of uh, not confident about it. But I think um, being in such a friendly environment where everyone was uh, really helpful and friendly and uh, they give me a lot of uh, courage to, you know, just just do it without being afraid that I might have uh, the wrong Japanese or anything like that. Yeah. From doing this internship, I've learned a lot about myself and what kind of office environments I'd like to work in. And also as an international affairs major, I've learned about diplomacy and foreign relations and I've realized that going into that field is something that I want to do in the future. Um, I've also learned how, like office etiquette and how to maintain relationships and and good standing with everyone. So I think that this internship has definitely helped me to learn and become ready for my future career. Because I learned so much about uh, the culture, Afghanistan culture, and I was 
uh, able to break some misconceptions I got from like media. I've learned a lot about the inner workings of an embassy, a particularly small embassy like the Afghan embassy. Um, it's been incredibly to see how uh, much teamwork that is behind it and that everybody has to pinch in when something is due. Well, you learn a lot about Afghan and their culture and their history and political situation as well. So it's been extremely rewarding in that sense. And, um, uh, and the fact that you get to work in so many different areas because it's such a small embassy really gives you a larger perspective of how, how an embassy really functions. The main thing I learned in this internship is definitely about the country itself, I think. I'm able to like change people's minds about the image of Afghanistan because people think it's dangerous, uh, there's war, but like people know a lot more about the similarities between Japan and Afghanistan, for example. Like people get surprised to hear that Afghanistan has kotatsu, <laughs> and Japanese people are like, oh, we have so much similarities. So it's like. Uh, yeah, that's mind-blowing to me too. As a message for future interns, I would say um, try things that you haven't done before. Uh, be, of course, respectable and, uh, and uh, nice and friendly. But I think you will be surprised to know, you know, um, how accepting cer certain internships will be in the future. Of course, I don't know about other internships, but uh, at least the Afghanistan internship will probably surprise you and you should definitely um, take any sort of opportunity that's been given to you. Just go with an open mind, uh, have a lot of interest and willingness to learn about the African culture. The people there are very uh, friendly, very welcoming, they give you all the support you need. Um, so yeah, participate as much as you can in events, accept different tasks, even though uh, you're not, you, you don't feel 100% uh, comfortable, um, help you to uh, gain new skills, and just enjoy your time there. Take advantage of the opportunities. Uh, because this is a small embassy, you won't have any restrictions with dealing with diplomats. You see them on a daily basis. You know them by name. You may know their children by name. Uh, you work one-on-one -on -one with them, with the ambassador. You work doing things maybe as minute as, you know, helping to fill a bag of mixed nuts for distribution at a festival. Or you might be doing something as elevated as writing a diplomatic letter on behalf of the ambassador to the prime minister of Japan or to a president of a country. These experiences are amazing. Take advantage of them.